Hi, this is Tim of the Watchbox at Dubai Watch Week 2019 with Chepek, and this is the Kedeberg 42.5 millimeters in stainless steel. This watch, launched to commemorate the opening of the first factory boutique in Geneva, will be available at the factory boutique as well as authorized retailers. Now you can see the polished steel case with evacuated frosted sides is extraordinary, but it's the dial that steals the show. This watch with double level of entry, and you can see both for the sub-registers and the dial itself, the quartz of entry material, sometimes known known as goldstone, has mineral deposits that create a bottomless depth when polished the glossy gleam we associate with enamel and the sparkle of an infinite cosmos. You'll note that the hands feature a lovely fleur-de-lis motif at their ends, and the sunken registers, which you'll note are also of a venturine on a different plane, feature your constant seconds, as well as a power reserve that doubles as a day of the week. You have to remember, calibrate and wind only until you reach the current day, but it doubles as a day of the week, which is probably the most inventive use of a power reserve scale I've seen. White stylized Roman numerals, including a cropped Watchmakers 4 on the Aventurine base with a railroad minutes track outboard. Turn it all over, you can see the evacuated side with a combination of satin, polish, and frosted finish. Turn it all over, and now you can see the movement which features a stop seconds function for precise setting. This is the SXH1 produced in conjunction with manufacturing partner Chronode manual wind twin mainspring barrels for the seven day power reserve as well as even torque release for less drop off of amplitude after two three four five days following the winding now you'll note that the 31 jewel movement features an exquisite frosted finish with a lovely set of polished bevels that make for a lovely break from the plane of the bridges down to the chamfer of their edge you'll also appreciate the fact that the screws are fire blued and annealed into a lovely cobalt metallic you can see a stylized click atop one of the ratchet wheels, the crown wheel winding both barrels simultaneously, beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. And though it's not listed, strictly speaking, it is 50 meters water resistant, which is exceptional for a dress category watch. Consider this one to be more sports casual. Now, rolling to a few different variants of the watch, I do think this is the most bewitching version, but let's take a quick look at the alternative, which is the 38.5 millimeter case, also available with a guilloche dial by manufacturing partner Metalem. Now, this particular pattern is known as ricochet, and if you think about it, the waves of the guilloche do ricochet off the features of the dial. You can see a different hand form is used here, as well as an applied Arabic numeral 12 and polished indices. You can see the same underlying movement, as well as the same dial architecture. Uh, you can see the case a little bit different. The cases are not mirror images of each other, as this one features a polished profile with sharp breaks between the profile, and I'm gonna polish this one. You can see the sharp breaks between the profile and the lugs, which is an exquisite detail of which I am quite appreciative. A domed style bezel and high polish, the Chepek logo up at 12 o'clock, and I appreciate that as they brand it their own, they also acknowledge their partners at the base. Turn the watch over, and you have the same movement, and you can see that the movement in each instance fills the case back, which is a refinement that I appreciate. Now, there are other versions available. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the sub-variants. This is the black enamel dial version. You can see we're back with the fleur-de-lis hands. This is Grand Faux Black, which is exceptionally uncommon. You'll even find recent Patek Philippe grand complications with black dial, where lacquer rather than enamel is used because, well, the difficulty of creating a smooth, production-ready black enamel dial. This is also the 38.5 millimeter case. Finally, I wanna show you one more exquisite version. Right here, you can see what's best described as a flinke, as you have an enamel coating over the guilloche base. So you have both. You have the engine turning and you have the enamel. You also note that in this instance, the fleur-de-lis hands have been white varnished, create a maximum contrast. Turn the watch over, it's the same movement. You're getting one level of high mechanical specification, but many different types of case material, case size, and dial. This is Chepek at Dubai Watch Week 2019.